Hi folks, well uh, as I didn't get out yesterday, I'm actually getting out today, the weather changed and we had a bit of sun so I went down to the secret river again for a couple of hours from the few buckets through from that waterfall. Uh, this week I will be going out a few more times, um, me and Mario, he knows a couple of places and uh, he's been prospecting here for 10 years so he's a native don't you know, <laughs> so uh, he knows some places what might be worth prospecting. So we're going to have a look at that, I'll pop some videos up on that if you're interested. Uh, if you're just watching this one and you didn't see the last one, it's for the 200 subscriber gold giveaway. So go and look at my last video and uh, make a comment if you want to win the gold. And uh, you've got a chance, obviously. This gold and this eyepiece. But anyway, go mate. It's nice to be nice. Well guys, it's Swiss day. It's a bank holiday. I didn't get down yesterday because of the weather. I thought I'd get a couple of hours in today. <coughs> we'll try a few different things here today. I'm going to clear that up for a start. I, I left that and uh, there was some pretty nice holding that edge. I'm just looking again at river flows and a lot of stuff. I said I tested the middle of that and found some stuff around the middle. So I might just run a few buckets out of that area as well first. I'll clear that up. Might do a few test pans there as well. And then whatever time I've got left, I'll. Uh, do a bit more barbecue evening tonight with the in-laws. Happy Swiss Day. Just from one bucket from right in front of the waterfall. Half of that bucket there is from that as well. So I ain't done two buckets yet. But I took some from there, half a bucket from there. I run a pan out of it, but I found two little tiny pieces of fine stuff, and that's just really like almost pure mud. Uh, there's not a lot of stone in mud either, so it's not like I'm thinking it's not like mixed with gravel and gold. The weather's looking it might like it might turn again, so it might be cut short, but we'll see what we get. But that's not a bad piece there. So there's not a bad piece there, and there's a couple more, I think, small, tiny pieces. I'm popping up and down. See what we get. So that is a complete two buckets. There's a couple of fines up there. That one's still there. And then I can probably see about eight pieces. Just small stuff. I'm also looking now. Now, as I said, I found the sort of line travel that way, and then you find some stuff down there as well. But I'm going to work way that way a little bit. I might just run a few pans across there, I'll show you what I get, if anything, and see if that's where there's any bigger stuff laying in there rather than on bank. Because it could, as I said before, from that green patch where my finger is to that corner across here and then back down where that wall comes out it seems to where it's been running. so that's that test pan and there where it's almost pointing more into the middle and they're probably they're not quite a millimetre but if they're there there could be some bigger pieces down that strip there so I'm going to concentrate on that or put another two buckets through that and see what comes through So that's 10 buckets. There's actually quite a nice piece kicking about down there somewhere. Near that stone that's bobbling about, stood up behind there. But it's nearly two millimetre, maybe. It's plus a millimetre. I'm seeing quite a bit of small stuff in there. And then nothing spectacular. Done. I can see there's probably about 20 or 30 pieces. And what I've done is 
it works across it and back. I'll get some more buckets through. I've got time. Well, not loads of time, but I can always come back here. It's five minutes from my house, you know what I mean? So I'm not bothered about working it all out today. And this week we're going to a couple of new places, I think. So there might be a couple of three videos up this week if you're interested. If you want to come with me, I'll post videos and you can have a look. But I'll carry on. Let's see what we get. Got 14 through again. It's just after three o'clock. Uh, I'm not going to stay any longer. I'll clean this out. Have a look. Have a look, see what we've got. That's stone. Yes, it's a stone. There's a nicer piece somewhere. Kicking about. I'll clean it out. I'm pretty much up to the waterfall. There's a bit more to do along that edge. Um, but like I said, I'll come back here anytime. I've got a few hours. I can still do more here. I should be able to sort of clear that in one or two afternoons, depending on what I do. As I say. On the 14th row. I'll give a look at that. What's in it? So, guys, let's top that. And there's one or two luckier pieces for here. In there, you seem to get. I spotted that after last bucket, and as I said, I'm getting deeper now down there, <laughs> which is dangerous. So if I'd have like, found a nice chunk, I wouldn't have been, <laughs> they'd been sending search parties out, out for me, <laughs> because I would have dug it all. So, better give up now, and uh, come back another day. That's gross, I would be very unhappy. And I'll uh, get carpet a bit of a wash through and see what we've got there. I find that very strange. There's not a great deal at all in carpet. Some really fine, fine, fine stuff. I think I might be need to buy a new carpet. Look at that there, look. This lead tadpole. I was going to say sperm. And I'll wash it through again, see if there's anything else in it, but I find that quite... Maybe I'm feeding it slow enough and it's catching most of it in there. There's some bits in there, look, it's really fine, but... I would have expected more in carpet than that. So guys, there's the results. I was surprised at that carpet. Nah, I've been threatening to buy a new one. Could be that, or like I say, I might have just been feeding it nicely because there were quite a lot in that, obviously. So, a lot in carpet. I brought the little silver sperm home. <laughs> or lead sperm. We'll have to take the lead out. Quite strange though that that's the shape it is. Looks fine in uh, shot, but I feel it's been melted at some point. Probably just dumped in the river. Anyway, there you go.